A new vertical PC has arrived. The Blackview MP200 is larger than your average mini PC, but takes up less surface space on your desk thanks to its verticality. Yeah, science, bitch. This one comes with an Intel Core i5-11400H, which is a mid-range CPU with 6 cores and 12 threads from yesteryear. And before we continue, for your chance to win an i7 Intel NUC 13 Pro mini PC from the good folks at Simply NUC, head on down to the link in the video description. This beastie mini PC could be yours, as long as you're in the US and 18 years and up. Good luck! A 340 USD bundled with a 512GB SSD and 16GB of DDR4, the MP200 sure has a lot of competition, including a direct competitor that comes in slightly less. The build quality of the Blackview MP200 is fine. It's all plastic, but it's solid. There's no creaking or flexing like on other minis. Looks wise, it's very plain Jane, but it looks inoffensive on a desk. I do have to give praise to the metal stand as it's the best one I've come across so far. For once, it's easy to put the mini into it and it holds in place. Don't know why it's so hard for others to get this right, but if you want to place it flat on your desk, you can. But it doesn't have any rubber feet, so it's likely to get scratched up with any movement. Kind of an oversight in my opinion. Inside the box is a giant 120 watt power supply, HDMI cord and screws, plus a mount for a 2.5 inch storage drive. For ports, there's an audio jack, dual USB 3 and Type-C. The Type-C supports display out. The rear has a gigabit LAN jack, HDMI 2, display port, dual USB 3 and a clear CMOS button. All USB 3 ports are 10 gigabit. The MP200 supports three simultaneous displays. Opening it up is easy. Two screws underneath and slide off the side panel. Here, there's a SATA cable to connect the additional 2.5 inch storage drive. Oh, and the Foreskin M.2 NVMe SSD returns. Sorry, 4C, 4C. Forgot my reading glasses. A single stick of 16GB DDR4 memory is included. Underneath the interior plastic, there's also an M.2 Wi Fi module that's replaceable. Windows 11 Pro is included out of the box, but Ubuntu worked off the USB nicely. Alright, time to check out the benchmarks. The MP200 holds up ok in single core, and this one was a tiny bit faster than the Mini's forum direct competitor. In multi-core, again, it's slightly faster, but the multi-core performance is low, with the 6600U almost matching it. Video encoding is not a strong suit of the 11400H, but close to the Mini's forum. The included integrated graphics are very very basic, and going by the benchmarks, the dual channel configuration on the Mini's forum made no difference. So single channel memory is not a problem. The Blackview MP200 isn't a gaming machine, but you can play some esports title on it if you really wanted to. A game like Valorant runs okay. as does League of Legends. Forget CSGO, which is heavy on the graphics side of things. For emulation, something like the PS2 and up will be difficult because of the weak iGPU, which holds it back. Gran Turismo 4 is one of the most demanding games, and it doesn't run great. The included i5-11400H is plenty powerful as a media player, but there are budget minis that can do the same job for less and have hardware AV1 decoding. There are plenty of options in the BIOS, but the only option you'll want to look at is the fan setting. Maximum CPU temp hit 98C during my testing and thermal throttling kicked in. The cooling in the MP200 has its hands full when all cores are under load. The Mini's forum did much better keeping the 11400H temps in check. NVMe SSD temp is an area the Blackview MP200 did surprisingly well. The drive in the Mini's forum will thermal throttle under heavy use. Oh, and the 4C drive is fine for a budget Gen 3 NVMe. Noise levels are a problem. 
Under load, the MP200 matched the loudest mini PC I've tested and the fan ramps up pretty often. On the other hand, its direct competitor was much quieter. Idle power draw was slightly better than the minis forum, but max power draw was higher. 90 watts for the lower end of the performance chart. Okay, so let's take a look at the pros and cons of the Blackview MP200. It has a great vertical stand. Wi-Fi reception was also very good. Better than most minis I've tested. NVMe temps were also good. However, it's a loud mini PC, graphics performance is weak, and it thermal throttles. It's also priced slightly higher than its direct competitor, which I wasn't a fan of either. I think the data here is everything you need to know, and I don't see a target market for minis with an 11400H when there are better alternatives. For the price, think AMD Ryzen 5000 series. And that's all for this one. Before you go, why not check out my best mini PCs of 2022 video? Cheers!